episode. It's the second episode of Movie Talk with Christine. And as usual, I am Joanna Mendoza, Christine.com Movie Section Editor. And with me today are still Gael Gatbonton and Zygmunt Rasigan, Film Critics Extraordinaire. Okay, today we are going to talk about the category Best Original Screenplay. This is part two of our 9 part Oscar special. Okay. Today, Best Original Screenplay nominees Amour, Django Unchained, Flight, Moonrise Kingdom, and Zero Dark Thirty. So guys, who do you think will win? Best Original Screenplay. I'm, I might bet on Zero Dark Thirty. Zero Dark Thirty. Yeah, if I were the betting man, oh, which I'm not, and I, I always lose, win. since it's like a lot of But Zero Dark Thirty. But yeah. with Zero Dark Thirty, I think, uh, my opinion is, it's the plot's super thin. Mm -hmm. It's super thin, like thin compared to the other nominees. Uh, I think it's more of Catherine Bigelow's direction more than the screen, more than the screenplay. Why Zero Dark was a nice, nice film. Uh, for me, uh, who will win is actually Django Unchained. Like my bet's Django Unchained, mm -hmm. since well, since all since, it won since the others. Academy loves you know Tarantino's bold. Uh, plot points and the crazy antics and everything. Yeah, and it won the Golden Globe. Not that it's an indication, but it won the Golden Globe. It's never. Yeah, yeah it's right. never yeah, an indication. I, know, but it I think the more important thing is because that Zero Dark Thirty. Um, if Mark Bold doesn't win here, Catherine Bigelow was already snubbed as a director for Zero Dark Thirty, and it's I I really doubt it's gonna win for Best Picture. So all that's really remaining in terms of the creative team and Zero Dark Thirty would be Mark Bowl. So if they snub him here, that's a pretty big, you know, F you to the film, mm -hmm. ironically. Mm -hmm. so but it's nominated for a, another big category, Best Film Editing, so it might get that. Yeah, but I think it's more it's Mark Bowl yeah. since he's also a producer on it, Shane creative partner, Talagani Catherine Bigelow, and since they snubbed mm -hmm. Catherine Bigelow for directing, I think um, but I agree with you that it's kind of weak on the plot, mm -hmm. but it's so big in terms of its relevance and in terms of its, you know, topicality right now, which I find really daring for Bigelow and Mark Bull to have done. That's why I feel that. Like. I want a more or Moonrise. The other two that you did mention. <laughs> like for me, like Moonrise Kingdom should. Like, for me, because because it's indie. No, because it's, no, 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 because it's the best. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think Wes Anderson. No, 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 but because Wes, it it's arguably Wes Anderson's best film yet. For me, it's it's Wes Anderson's best film. But uh, he made this you know entire universe of like a world of Moonrise Kingdom. Then he added the stories of each of the characters, even you know Edward Norton playing a scout master. He had issues and everything. Everyone had a story, so, parang the creative genius of Roman Coppola plus Wes Anderson. I think that's my personal favorite. So what about you? Um, I I'd still go with Zero Dark Thirty. Ironically, uh, not ironically. I really think it so it's really going to win, win, and I feel like it should win. Um, and Moonrise you Kingdom. Want that win? I think Moonrise Kingdoms, it was more Wes Anderson's visuals again, mm -hmm. his direction that really, you know, gelled the script together. I mean, the script was okay in the realm mm -hmm. of Wes Anderson, but he just kicked it up a notch in terms of his storytelling. Amor, I think, is a dark horse for this one. Yeah. It could just come out of nowhere and just grab the award and I'd be completely okay with it. Um, yeah. But yeah, because but there is a beauty to the simplicity of Amor, it's just two people just taking care of each other, each other during the twilight years, which I think is absolutely beautiful. And that concludes our discussion for Best Original Screenplay. We would love to know what you think as well, uh, Facebook. Uh, please comment away in the article where this video is going to be posted. And you may also post on our Facebook wall. Bye-bye!